Hi friends! I love all kinds of trees, but if I had to pick a tree that was my very favorite, I would pick a birch tree. A birch tree has pretty white bark. I'm sitting by one of my favorite birch trees in my front yard right now. And as I'm sitting by this birch tree, it made me think about all the wonderful things trees can do and how they help us every day. I got a book about all the good things trees do for us and we're gonna read it together right now. The title of the book is A Tree is Four. The author is Judith Bauer Stamper. Let's look and learn about all the wonderful things trees are for. What are trees for? They're for giving us a cool spot to have a picnic. Trees are for shade and much, much more. A tree is for having fun. My swing hangs from a tree in my backyard. When my dad pushes me, I fly high into the sky. We climb up to play in our secret tree house. A tree house can be a pirate ship, a clubhouse, or even a spaceship. Our family goes camping in the deep, dark woods. At night, we tell spooky stories around the campfire. Trees are great when you're playing hide and seek. Don't peek before you're done counting. A tree is for delicious food. Apples, oranges, bananas, and pears all grow on trees. Have you ever picked a snack off of a fruit tree? Friends, can you think of one more thing to eat that grows on a tree? Maple syrup comes from a tree too. Just catch the sap in a bucket to make sugar maple treats. Look out below! Nuts fall to the ground under hickory, pecan, and walnut trees. Squirrels like nuts too, so hurry to pick the nuts you want. That squirrel's gonna take them and eat them up. Did you know that chocolate comes from a tree? Do you like chocolate cupcakes? The beans of the cocoa tree are used to make frosting for this delicious cupcake. A tree is for building houses. All over the world, people live in houses made from trees. This house far away in Peru sits on a riverbank. Wooden stilts keep the house high and dry. Some people in Kenya built this roundhouse out of sticks. Its thatched roof looks like a hat. This houseboat is made of bamboo. It floats through the backwaters of southern India. And this log cabin is made from logs, cut from big branches and small tree trunks. A long, long time ago, many people grew up in log cabins, including Abraham Lincoln. Abraham Lincoln was one of our presidents a long time ago and a very, very important person. He did lots of good things. People still use trees to build new houses. At a lumber mill, people cut tree logs into wooden boards of different lengths. Carpenters nail the boards together to put up the house's frame. And next, they add a roof and walls. They finish off the house with wooden floors and wooden doors. When the house is done, 
a family moves into their new home. A tree is for making all kinds of things. This guitar is made from a softwood. It vibrates with music that makes you tap your feet. This baseball bat is made from a hardwood that's so strong it can hit a home run. Do you like to play baseball? Wooden canoes are lightweight and easy to paddle. Oh, Miss Kristen loves to go canoeing, that's fun. Did you know that rubber also comes from trees? And the tires on this bike came from the sap of a rubber tree. Do you like to ride your bike? Pick up your pencil and take a look. A pencil's made from a tree too. Even paper is made from trees. Paper factories turn wood into pulp and press it into paper. This book started out as a tree. These big, huge rolls are full of paper made from trees. A tree is for making our planet a better place to live. Trees clean our air when their leaves make food. And the leaves take carbon dioxide out of the air and put oxygen back in it. People need to breathe oxygen to live. Trees help the environment in many more ways. Their big leafy branches keep houses cool on hot days and their long, strong roots hold soil in place. These long, strong roots hold onto the ground so the tree doesn't fall over and it keeps the earth firm into the ground. Best of all, trees make our planet beautiful. What would our world be without trees? The end. what would our world be without trees? Next time you're outside, I want you to find your favorite tree in your yard. You can sit by your tree, see what birds come to visit your tree, even check if there's a nest on your tree. And if you find a favorite tree, make sure you give your tree a big hug and say thank you to your tree for all of the wonderful things that it does for us. Bye friends, be safe, be helpful, be kind.